Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the 71 Torino GT. I'm Jeff as always, and we're about to get to work on the finalizing the cow fitment. So basically, in this episode, we're going to go ahead and get the top cow fitted, and then weld it in. We're going to get everything in place, test fit the glass, you know, make sure that we have everything where we need it to be, and, and we don't have to make any adjustments and everything so that's what the goal is for this episode is to get that cow welded in and good to go so let's get to it <clears throat> ice in my veins i've been driving this train is in this lane there's no stop in this flame cuz I came to the game and I changed it to play how I like rearranged it to my own domain yeah I got what it takes made lots of mistakes taking shots skipping breaks feeling lost feeling great popping off singing straight never stop hey everybody we're back out here about to get to work I'm gonna use this brand new spot welder and, and start really setting this cowl in place so I've never used this thing before it's a new new tool it's just gonna be cleaner that's the general idea, and we're gonna try to spot weld through. So, let's get to work. All right, everybody, we got this new tool, this this magic little thing called a spot welder, and it's a Harbor Freight Chicago Electric 110 volt spot welder. We about to see if this will work. Magic! Magic! Check out them spot welds! Oh man! There it is. Spot welds up and down the top lip. That 110 volt Chicago electric spot welder worked really good. Scared myself a couple times. You know, you gotta be careful with all these wiring and stuff because these, these bars get really hot. So I was kind of playing the game, a dangerous game sometimes, getting it close to those rubber pieces and, you know, possibly burning through it. But so far, I mean, this looks like it's in here nice and tight. I took all my clamps off and it's I haven't seen any of the spots really pop or anything so I'm pretty happy now with this welded in place I think it's about time we test fit the top let's see how it looks
man, I don't like this at all. What I've discovered is there's too tight of a gap here to get the top in. So I'm going to have to cut along here and cut along here and bend this plate up probably. Uh, I really don't want to do that, but you know, it's better than cutting all the way through and then having to figure out where the uh, hinge, say, uh, the hood hinges are supposed to be located. So that's probably what I'm going to have to do. Might call it a day just because I don't feel like doing that right now. Like I just, it makes me nervous. I hate uh, the idea of maybe possibly having to relocate the uh, hinge or not really relocate, but try to get them back into the stock locations. So I really don't want to mess up my hood, hin hood hinges area. I cut a bunch of stuff and bent a bunch of stuff and boom we got the top of the cow at least in place fit now I'm gonna have to take it out obviously I still got welding in this corner and that corner and these bottom corners uh, which actually cutting this away makes it a little more accessible for me to get in there and along these lips too but I just wanted to make sure and get this thing in place so I could really see how it fits and pretty impressed for the most part I mean it looks good So today, I should be doing some welding, but I broke my welding uh, uh, tank yesterday. I basically broke off my hose and so on, so I have to wait for a new hose right now. Uh, so I'm just going to do some wiring. So the, the wiring on the front of this car is a little bit crusty, uh, so we're going to do some work on that. So let's get to it. So you want to know what we're going to do today? Today, we're going to do some more welding. Imagine that, right? So when we left off, we have got this spot welded in and I broke my welder. Uh, so I had to get another hose. I had to get another regulator. Um, but I got it all worked out now. So what we have to focus on, actually, let me turn this camera on. What we got to focus on now is this area all the way down and under there so I don't know how well it's going to video but we're gonna try so we got to do both sides and then once we do both sides we can start fitting the top cowl plate I also got my windshield in so once we kind of fit the top cowl plate we'll see if we can set the window in place and uh, kind of make sure everything's copacetic so let's get to it So we got our spot welds in place. I kind of did some stuff here because this thing was really bad and had some holes in it. I just didn't want it to be super loose, but I'll have to grind some of this stuff down. Uh, I have to do this from the underside because there's nothing there to weld to. I had like one spot to weld to. These other holes, there's nothing there. Um, same thing basically on the other side so i'll have to figure that out and there's a little piece that needs to be put in in that corner if i remember correctly uh, but 
the lower cowl is officially welded in place. This thing is solid. I took all the screws out. It is not going anywhere. So probably about to set the top cowl back in place and maybe test fit the window. Uh, I'll have to put some riv nuts in for the window brackets. The, the left side works pretty well, but for some reason the holes are a little big. So I'll probably riv nut in the uh, window brackets and see where we go from there. So let's get to it. So now that you see I kind of fit this thing in place and it looks good it fits good but this lip I'm not sure about this lip this lip right here is making where the windshield is sitting on top of it on this side and sitting flush on the inside on the other side and it makes me wonder if this lip needs to be bent down so let's go and look at the originals so I kept them. They're rusty as fuck. But I don't remember them they being a lip there. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to tell. And the answer is I can't tell. Because that's the top. This is the bottom. Obviously, we're rotted out. So, I'm going to have to call some buddies and find out if that lip exists or not. Because it's either gonna have to be bent in right here or bent in on that side. So I, I don't really know which, but uh, all right. Well, at least we know something and that we have a nice windshield. I mean, that, that clear windshield from AMD is very nice. All right, well, I don't know what I told you and what I haven't at this point. I'm having a bad night. I bent the lip over and that fixed the clearance for the glass. I went ahead and screwed these down to get them a nice tight fit along this edge. Uh, it fits real good here. I had to pound that corner down a little bit. You know, and we're gonna have to clamp this down and clamp that section down. I mean, this has got to come back off and we got to clean it for welding. But I also, you know, broke my brand new piece of glass, so that sucks but it's the way the cookie crumbles i guess sometimes you just have a bad day so i think that's going to be it for tonight hey everybody we're back so we finished up getting this top of the cow fitted yesterday and what we're going to do now is we're going to take it back off clean it up and prep it for welding and get this thing welded on so that's what we're trying to do today uh, i mean it's going to be taking this top edge and grinding the EDP off, get that coating off. Same thing on the bottom edge, uh, just getting a good surface for us to weld to and cleaning up a couple of the holes I made. I'll have to make a couple more holes along the line edges uh, for welding as well. So that's what we're about to do. So let's get to it. We got everything ground down and coated with weld through primer as you can see over there there's the top of the cow well, it's not, actually the bottom part of the cow uh, but the top half so we're gonna give this a little bit to dry 
we're gonna put together I'm gonna start welding so all right There it is. We were welded in. Spot welds all across the top. Plus I welded to close all the screw holes. Used the actual MIG to do some welds on the bottom lip. And the little area there. And to clean that up. Same thing on the other side. All the way down. And in there. So. It is on. I got my wiper stuff installed before I welded it in. Got my brackets sitting in place even though they're a little loose i need to go ahead and get my uh m5 rib nuts on this side which is what i did on that side because the screw holes wouldn't fit uh, they're just too big but for the most part it's in there so it looks pretty good it looks solid it's not moving anywhere so we gotta do some weld cleanup of course especially right here clean up all these little weld holes that I had to put for the screws that way to smooth it out that way when the, our windshield goes in it'll sit nice and flush so whoo progress finally hey thank you everybody for tuning into this week's episode as you saw we got the cowl in place we got the glass fit and made sure it was where it was supposed to be and how it was supposed to be I broke my brand new glass which is a $500 fuck up and I hate it and it pissed me off but it stayed in one piece so we at least could get our fitment right we got the cow spot welded in we got all the MIG welding done on the bottom of it and now we basically just gotta clean it up and seal it up and also finish you know all our side rails and put those back together so but uh a lot got done this week and I'm so happy to have this brand new cow in place it looks great it's great to have solid sheet metal in place, and I'm just excited that we're making progress. So, next week, we're probably going to work more on the cowl, of course, getting all that stuff sealed up and painted and all the metal work on the, the rails and all that good stuff done. So, that's basically what we're going to do. But, until then, like, subscribe, comment, check out some of my other videos, tell your friends, and we'll see you next week. Peace. I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling lost Feeling great Popping out